Back here locally now, police are looking for the person who shot a UPS driver. This happened during what appears to be a case of road rage. It's the latest violent incident in Prince George's County this past week. It happened yesterday morning near the intersection of Terrace Drive and Silver Hill Road, just south of Suitland Parkway. Abby Larico is there this morning with the latest details. Morning, Abby. Hey ladies, good morning. So the summer is coming to a violent end here in Prince George's County, where police say having so many guns on the streets is contributing to so many of these streets becoming crime scenes. In this latest incident involving a UPS driver, police say they're looking for someone who shot that driver for cutting them off in traffic. So they're out there doing their thing, trying to earn a living, and you got somebody that's going to shoot them. It happened around 10 a.m. Monday morning. It just don't make any sense. In this video, you can see the UPS driver walking into a nearby barber shop moments later looking for help. We're told the driver should be OK. That hasn't been the case in other shootings in Prince George's County. As of late, at least 10 people killed in just the last week, including a 16 year old boy. We're going to do everything in our power to ensure that these individuals are brought to justice. Murders and shootings overall in Prince George's County are actually down compared to this time last year, according to crime stats. But Prince George's County Deputy Chief James McCreary says the number of firearms available is working against them and against the community. Guns on the scene um, has unfortunately uh, raised the stakes and increased the likelihood of these um, verbal disputes or interactions um, ending tragically. Looking at other violent crimes, though, carjackings are up in Prince George's County this year by 70% related to the case involving their driver. UPS says they are thankful they are expected to be OK and that they are working with investigators on this. Reporting live in Suitland this morning, Abby Larico, WUSA 9.